Hi. I'll, first, I'll introduce myself. I'm Jessica Chubbick. I'm the vice president of Local 7. I represent um, one of the smaller unions down at Bath Iron Works. We have planners, admin techs, surveyors, um, trades inspectors, and desktop technicians. Those are our trades. Chair Dow, Chair Tipping, Honorable Members of the Joint Standing Committee on Taxation, I'm here today to testify in favor of LD 1781 and to represent the hardworking members of Local 7 in Bath, Maine. Today you have the unique opportunity to not only help ensure jobs and future investments for our state, but also our nation. This tax credit will help ensure the much needed investments to keep our shipyard competitive in today's ever-changing and advancing industry. Now more than ever, it is vital to invest in the future of our shipyard and the over 5,000 employees that work here. The often quoted phrase of Bath built is best built rings true not only in our members' skilled work and craftsmanship, but also in their hearts. Many of our members have been working in the shipbuilding industry at Bath Ironworks for decades. The craftsmanship and skill that goes into designing, planning, and manufacturing each hull is humbling. Each hall has a combined effort of the different locals and their skilled workers to produce some of the most advanced and progressive warships in the world. We build the very ships that many of our sons, daughters, friends, and members themselves have and do serve on. Our membership is a living legacy of the phrase, through these, ga through these gates pass the best shipbuilders in the world. Producing the very ships that protect our nation is a life's passion for many of our members. They have spent endless hours pouring their blood, sweat, and sometimes tears into crafting these ships. There is a great sense of responsibility among our membership as they understand the extreme importance of the work we do. Therefore, we must stay competitive with other shipyards to continue to win builds, bids and ultimately work in the industry we all hold so dear. If you were to come to the shipyard and talk to our members, what you would find is a group of individuals that share an extreme bond of pride in what they do. Our members also have an earnest desire to see these crafts and skills passed on to the next generation of shipbuilders. The proposed investment in our shipyard would help ensure that this transfer of knowledge and skills becomes a reality. Many of you see this tax credit as an investment into a shipyard. For the members of Local 7, we see it as an investment in our future and future generations. We see it as an investment in our communities, our state, and our nation's defense. We see it as an investment in our way of life. For we are the best shipbuilders in the world. I respectfully ask that you support this bill and pass LD 1781. Any questions from the committee? Representative Tipping. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you for coming to testify today. So a big portion of this bill 20 years ago and, and a big portion of it today was requiring a serious amount of investment up front to qualify. Mm -hmm. um, in your opinion, what should that investment look like? Does that look like training hours or investments in a local community college? Or is that on-site uh, investment in new buildings and facilities? All the above. Okay. It should be an investment in everything, the infrastructure, the advancement, the training, everything that's listed in the bill. Thank you. Any further questions from the committee? Seeing none, I thank you for your testimony. I'm going to switch now to uh, a 